Welcome to Parrot Nature and Science Museum. It was built by Ross Parrot, who is a US politician, businessman, and philanthropist. Let's go and find out. Finally, I'm able to enter the Parrot Museum of Nature and Science. This museum was founded by Ross Perrot, a US politician, philanthropist, and businessman. His inspiration and his great work really reflects upon this great museum. Just can't wait to see inside. And this is your show, Journey of the Spirit. One more adventures of our spirits. Let's go. Perth Museum of Nature and Science. This is the entrance. This is located in Dallas, Texas. We already saw the the annular eclipse. This is welcoming to his knowledge and power to enlighten us through this museum. Welcome to the Perth Museum. What an adventure is gonna be. It's kind of like that. My adventure starts with a dinosaur. Wow. Let's read the history of this dinosaur here. Connections across continents. The Malawi Dinosaur Project. So this dinosaur. Is a skeleton from early 125 and 125 million years ago with a fossil expedition in Africa. Wow, look at this! Wonderful, right? I'm in front of a 125 million years old dinosaur. This fossil arrived from. Africa, the southern part of Africa. <laughs> Something to be seen in this museum. This is Rossberg Museum in Dallas, and this is just the beginning of this adventure. There's so much to see. And those who love science and technology, and those who love to discover the mystery of this world, or even by yourself, you want to invent something. This is the right place, especially for those children. They want to grow, they want to make your brain a science museum. <laughs> this is definitely a place to be. Come on, let's go explore more. This is the Discovering Life Hall. Celebrates the diversity of our residents. Under the sky, as a being created with different types of species, we still share the same needs the basic needs to eat, grow, and produce. And as the total species, we are part of the one life that is just simply known as life. Preserving the biodiversity. We are always speaking about the climate issues and in fact, global warming. I think this chain reaction is very important, especially to know that how we are all connected. Of the trade. Nathan! Nathan, come here! We have more on this side. This is the 
thousands of species that live in the desert. It will take not just a day, <laughs> many hours to research and study about different species on this planet Earth. Some birds, they just depend on some types of insects as to, to uh, leave, sustain their life. And then there are some animals, they will depend on the same bird to sustain for their sustainability. So this equilibrium just continues. So you need to have a very sharp observation to understand the ecosystem of this planet Earth and then you'll understand that how much we are different and how much we are same and we depend on each other. The pine leaves, I almost feel like I'm in a forest. Wow, life in the wildness. So beautiful, right? There was a time that human and animals used to all live together in the forest, in the wilderness. That's why the natives, great souls, they respect the forest. Because the dynamic art hall loves art, minerals, soils, land, and discover the wonders of art is a place to be in. This is solving the mystery of Ellie This is a Colombian mammoth skeleton. I'm in front of a Colombian mammoth. You see the skeleton discovered in Ellis country in the month of May. Got the skeleton here. As a human, we are made out of soil, of art. And here comes our ingredient, right? So the soil is made of two layers. One layer is the crust, and then the second layer is the depth that consists all the minerals, all the earthly components. Oh. Our fabulous land, different layers, rocks, minerals. Yeah, what well, yeah, very interesting with the geological uh, formation, perspective. Mountain formation, castile formation, volcano formation, ozone formation, wolf ox formation, wild ranging land. This will love mineralogy. This is the right place to be. Let's go check it out. People discover a form of energy that adds even more productivity and convenience to their lives. Electricity. It can be produced using energy from burning coal, oil, or gas, or from wind, water, the sun, or even heat from inside the earth. All these sources can generate electricity. This form of energy travels through wires and stores in batteries. Soon after people develop electrical power, they come up with another energy source to generate. People discover that when you split atoms of the element uranium, you 
get a lot of heat. Like the heat from other energy sources, this heat, nuclear power, can make steam to generate electricity. Now we use more energy per individual than we ever have before. The equivalent of six gallons of gasoline per person. More significant, because of population growth, the increasing number of energy consumers in the world means we need even more total energy to supply everyone. To meet this huge demand, we need to find the right balance of the energy sources we have. Some of these sources will eventually run out, so it's important to use them wisely. Others are unlimited in supply, but more difficult to use. This energy balance is your challenge for the next century. Are you up to the task? Enter. If you want to understand the climate, the weather, and how it impacts the Mother Nature and Earth, our planet, it's important to know to preserve Preserve this art, planet art. Here comes the changing planet. Global warming and climate change is affecting this planet art and every species living on this planet. You need to consider towards Mother Nature in order to sustain in a healthy equilibrium. We are all energy in a form in this art. Dust to dust. Every single component in this world turns out to be energy. That's why they say energy is everything. As Einstein derived his formula E equal to MC squared. We all belong to one component. Eventually, we turn out to one component that's called energy. Gems and minerals. They've been neither hope nor found. Rocks of all sizes, from pebbles to mountains, make up the Earth's crust. A rock is a mixture of naturally occurring substances, mainly minerals. Minerals form all over the world, consisting of two elements that make up everything on our planet, including oxygen, silicon, aluminum, iron, calcium, potassium, sodium, and magnesium. These elements combine to create the most widespread minerals, while other elements the various colors of minerals come from tiny
stone that's connected with you, the carbine, the stone of the unknown wisdom, the unknown source. Amethyst lover, look at this masterpiece. Amethyst, the stone of wisdom, the stone of the unknown wisdom, unknown source, the unknown spirits, the third eye. This is the amethyst. Everything is energy, even our human body is, consists of minerals that turns into energy and it is important for us to preserve this energy. Energy sources, where does our energy comes from? Coal, natural gas, nuclear power, and hydroelectric power are the primary energy sources used to generate electrical power. The sun, the solar power, is the next energy source for this planet Earth. When the sunlight strikes the Earth, it produces the energy just by one and a half hour, the energy for one year. Solar energy, solar power is the next future of solar technology or the real technology for this planet Earth. Uh -uh. Journey through the solar system. We are part of the solar system. Journey through the solar system. The green as now is the look to the sky. The space. But unlike our ancestors, we can actually see faint traces of the birth of the universe. High-powered telescopes such as the Hubble take us within the grasp of the Big Bang. We can observe galaxies over 13 billion light years away, galaxies that are only 800 million years old, virtual infants in the cosmos. Humans have sometimes been limited in vision, but never in imagination. As we continue to study the cosmos from the smallest subatomic particle to the exploration of new galaxy clusters, we move closer to understanding the universe and our place in it. Cosmic curiosity. Where does the universe come from? Where do we come from? We are all cosmic seeds. We are all star seeds. But where do we come from? What is this mystery of this great universe? Come and let's find out some more information in the Rosberg Museum. I'm on the fourth floor, Journey of the Universe. It's 9.3 trillion miles in diameter, which includes sun, moon, other comets, and many other objects. It is an amazing solar system. 
and we are all part of this solar system. Being a star seed, being an energy, a component that just comes into dust and disappears in dust. Great solar system. At night, when we stare at the sky and look at the stars, look at the sky, I think we all feel the same curiosity. We all ask the divine who really we are. Where did we come from? What is this mystery of this creation? This whole solar system, this whole universe, space, sun, moon, planet, are And that question, that mystery, is still a question mark. Just like the question mark star in the sky. This is how we can do the stargazing. Stargazing is very important, especially to be connected with the universe, to make Stargazing, stargazing teaches us so many things, especially it opens your cells, your brain cells, and it also helps us to be more, expand your inner energy, your inner sense, queries, to be an existence on this earth. You become more aware of your surrounding. You become more aware of your existence. That's why if you get a chance at night, try to do the stargazing. That will help you to enhance your system, enhance your brain. Gravity is the force that keeps us together in this planet. It's a force that works as the rules of the attraction. Making sense of matter. If it has mass and by space, it's matter. Everything we can observe in the universe, including us, is made of matter. Matter is composed of small particles called molecules. Molecules are the combinations of atoms which are in turn made up of even smaller particles. Since objects in the universe are composed of a limited number of elements, we can study how matter behaves on Earth to understand matter throughout the universe. We all came out from the same source from the stars. We are born from stars. Every molecule, every part of our body is part of the stars. 
everything is part of this great universe. That's why we always say the subject matters. We are the matters of this universe. So that's how the energy reacts. You know, so if you are nice to the universe, the universe is nice back to you. If you are nice to any living or non-living existence on this art, it just it just comes back. If you are nice, nice things happen. If you treat the universe nice, nice thing will come to you. And sometimes that's how we explain as karma. If you do good things, good things comes to you. And if you do bad things, bad things comes to you. So as a part of this star, of this universe system, being a subject matter, you just have to remember to be very nice to your surrounding. And then you truly, truly become the blessing to be born as a star. Making sense of matter, now since we know that we are made out of energy particles, atoms, that belongs to the great solar system, to be born as a stars, from today, let's try to treat everything, living or non-living, with kindness, compassion, and with humanity. Because we are all going to be belong or back to that same source. Why don't we go back to the source as a blessing? Let's try it. Let's try it. It's very easy just to be a little bit nice and kind. From stars, hydrogen, helium, and a small amount of lithium were the only elements formed when the universe began. Over billions of years, these light elements have been fused into all the heavier elements by stars. You, your pets, this building, Earth, Jupiter, all the matter in the universe is made of some basic elements once found within living and dying stars. This is the theory of the subject matter. Do you understand this subject matter? You start to be nice and nice and nice from today. Star seeds, stardusts, dust to dust, come to this world as dust, and then we go back in a form of dust. Just in this small, short journey, all we leave as a human is just our few good deeds, good memories towards the planet, towards human, towards animal, even towards unknown sources. So let's be very kind and be loving to everything, every single component that's known as a subject matter. The Paradmesium in Dallas is really a very good innovation, a very good experience for me to understand at least some part of I am and where I am belong to. Charting the stars in the late 1700s, William Herschel discovered that the Milky Way is born High powered telescopes such as the Hubble take us within the grasp of the Big Bang. So the galaxies over the first come. Great scientist Newton realized that everything on this planet Earth belongs to one force, the force of gravitation. For thousands of years, and then later on to he implemented the this into his theory of force, the law of Over time, gravitation. Scientific evidence began to and Newton finalized his journey on this There's planet Earth saying that he has years, studied, he has observed, he has spent so much time 
with the universe, we know that everything in the universe with the discovery the of this planet Earth, but he still knows only a cable that has left on the beach. His knowledge has not been enough and he compares it towards a little pebble on the beach next to the ocean. The mystery of this universe, the mystery of this planet are in this cosmic journey, the mystery of the universe is too much for us a human to discover. But if we do believe in divine, if we do believe in the great creator, we know that the supreme power, the divine power, is everything, and no one has ever been able to escape away from the divine power or the creator. It's just truly, truly beyond our human capacity. Astronomers in the Arab world were the great mathematicians and scientists. In those days, those times, they were able to calculate the distance and the mystery of sun, moon, and all other planets. Early Arab astronomers in the Arab world were the great mathematicians and scientists. They were able to predict where the sun, moon, and the stars are going to appear at specific times and dates. Astronomers that work in the Galat Observatory in Istanbul used many small portable tools to calculate dates, times, and positions of the sun, moon, planets, and stars. Medical Arab astronomers use this handheld mechanical map of the universe called an astro lab. Creating the estimated 76 billion stars in the universe. That's 70,000 billion trillion stars. Or this is the time with the Jurassic Park Trinosaurus. So don't be scared. <laughs> this is giant rose seropod footprint. 115, 112 million years ago. Wow. Life, then and now, life is truly a mystery, it's a subject matter. Come to the Ross Perot Museum at Dallas and you're gonna see all these fabulous adventures I'm having and you can discover many more and this is your show, Journey of the Spirit. Huge big dinosaur. Wow. Let's see. Wow. Huge. Huge. Nice. It's the sorrow pot. scared look at where I am <laughs> this is not a movie this is really a real-life adventure in Rossboro Museum in Dallas Texas come and have fun just like the way I'm having fun I discover this fabulous dinosaurs 120 to 125 million years old and all that you can see Museum Ross Perot in Dallas, Texas. High for Rizzo for Dent Skeleton, Arlie 
All these dinosaurs you are seeing that just comes into life <laughs> in this museum and everybody is gonna start running right that's gonna be truly a movie a horror movie this is really a very very wonderful experience for me and Rossboro Museum in Dallas Texas and this is your show journey of the spirit Life up north. Winter is brutally cold, nights are long, and food can be dangerously scarce. And still, they know how to survive this harsh winter. These are the Arctic winter survivals. They know how to deal with the harsh winter. In terms of food, their surrounding, everything is so harsh and they still know how to survive. Look at this piece. to fly and nothing can stop me I do not ask the meaning of a song of a bird or the rising of the Sun because I know they are and they are so beautiful that's how beautiful this animal kingdom you just have to know how to connect with them with your gifts of love and compassion let's all fly like a bird the art of flying let's all fly high above and above this is the nest of alamario oreo oh, how cute how much time it takes them to make this beautiful house wow look at the other nest i see some eggs there wow bird nest lights out texas this yellow bird
communicate, the sing and call using a special vocal organ. They beat their wings, but what are the same? That the scientists have identified that what actually they're singing or saying. There's so much to learn from the birds. When they're singing, what are they trying to say? When they're making sounds, what actually are they trying to communicate? When they're flying or just going back to their nest, what are the feelings they have? Scientists around the world trying to understand the meaning of these songs of birds. And honestly speaking, sometimes some humans have that capability to understand that sometimes the birds become the messengers. Sometimes they bring messages for you. Sometimes when you see a yellow bird, that means something. Sometimes you see a blue bird, that means something. Sometimes when a crow comes to your house, near your house, it's bringing a message. Isn't that such a great mystery of this nature? That the birds are connected to our emotions, to our human senses, that they become the messengers? Try to understand and connect with the songs of the birds. And then you will know that how in tune you are that you get that plus points to get any kind of messages that comes from the divine. I wake up in the morning with the songs of my favorite birds, my yellow birds. I know that I'm going to have a beautiful day. When I go to sleep with the sound of my bluebirds, I know that I'm going to dream a wonderful dream. That's how much I am connected with my birds. You are my messenger of my joy and sorrow. Human, all the birds, at the end of the day, they come back to their own nest. What a connection we have between this sweet, nice birds, beautiful birds, and us human. Just think about them. They need a home, we need a home. When they're happy, they sing, and we sing. When we cry, they also cry, making a special sound. They also have babies, they also fly, they also eat. What an amazing creation of this divine that connects with us everything, the subject matter. This is a wonderful experience for me to the Rosberg Museum, Dallas, Texas. You must need to come and explore all this I am seeing. And this is your show, Journey of the Spirit, and as far as I am Sada. Birds and human, a special bondage. Truly, a very wonderful bondage. Birds are part of our life, like a song, like a music. It gives us joy. Let's try to sing this beautiful song. It gives us so much joy and happiness. This is the most home of birds Your friend. <laughs> you lost it. <laughs> a nice gift shop at the Rosberg Museum. You can buy bracelets or minerals. 
like I'm buying this rose quartz and also a parrot and you can also buy some t-shirts souvenirs beautiful for ladies some jewelries bracelets made out of crystal stones such a lovely place to be in right look here the artful parent book lovers you can also buy some book nice, nice. all i have to say my experience to the raw sparrow museum in dallas was so so wonderful i have learned so much and such a beautiful wonderful experience and this is your show journey of the spirit as far as other such an amazing experience. Hi, and look Hi. at her. She's at the shop. What's the name of the store? At the Rossberg Museum, right? Yes, it's just the uh, Pro Gift Shop. <laughs> right, and if you want to have good luck, I'm getting something. If you believe in this, you definitely come here and get something. <laughs> Such a nice, lovely experience. Thank you. <laughs> what an experience at the Perth Museum of Nature and Science and look at in behind the frog forest so lovely right the experience in the Perth Museum of Nature and Science was wonderful and again that message especially for those who loves to share the mother nature and feel for the planet earth and universe we need to preserve our planet earth our nature and we need to care for living and non-living existence as they are all the subject matter and we are all born as a star and we will all go back to the star so let's learn again to love to love to love and to love the true companionship is the companionship of your creator he will never leave you he will always support you guide you in your good time and in your bad time and the second companionship is your wisdom your knowledge never stop learning never stop knowing or growing your wisdom this will lead you to the path of success and the connectivity with the true divine. Perth Museum of Science and Nature is definitely a lesson for me to know the subject matter of this universe. And the first rule of the universe is to treat others the way you treat yourself. To be kind and nice, whatever you give back to the universe it will return you as much you are giving if you throw a stone to the universe a stone will come to you if you throw a rose a rose will come to you so a great experience to learn the subject matter the rule of this universe the rule of karma the rule of nature and everything is just in energy energy of love is the highest power is the most powerful weapon on this planet earth try to at least for a day a second to be nice and kind and see just like this my friend frog miracle will start to happen with you this is your show journey of the spirit Wow, that was a quite wonderful, wonderful adventure I had at the Perth Museum of Nature and Science. This whole journey taught me one lesson, the subject matter of the universe, that we all belong to the universe, just as an energy, just like the protons, atoms, molecules, dust to dust. Nothing is gonna leave behind except our energy of goodness, kindness, love towards humanity, towards nature, towards animals, towards the whole universe. 
just from today practice one small thing to be nice kind sweet and compassionate to every living and non-living existence and then miracle will happen the best companionship is your creator and the second companionship is your knowledge see you on the next show this is journey of the spirit and remember to walk on the path of love light and this is Faram Sad. welcome to the parallel museum of science and nature this is a wonderful museum located in dallas texas just spectacular experience you can experience with dinosaurs with the molecules with the equilibrium of human life on this planet earth minerals the art of the, the nature the art of the galaxy the mystery of the solar system all together this is truly Indonesia you can always come bring your children your friends your family and it's just endless endless learning and this is your show journey of the spirit this is Parayam Sada. See you in my next tour. Until then, walk on the path of love, light, faith, and wisdom. Wow, the final treat from this path museum. It's beautiful musical instrument. Journey of the Spirit, inspiring Sadhana, love.